everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my channel. Me and my long hair chihuahua is sitting next to me, Sissy. Um, many of you have seen her before. As a matter of fact, look at this picture that I found of her way back when I can't, I mean, when I got her, I would like leave my moccasins that I wear around the house. I would leave them in the living room and she would curl up in the foothold of my moccasin. That's how little she was. It just cracks me up. Anyhow, let's get back to this. Um, I finished my soft cover journals. And if you've watched my videos one, two, and three to this little series, you would see um, how I did it. And it was just mainly to use it as a base. Um, I did cut this part off so I didn't have the grommet hole and didn't have to worry about um, covering it. So what I first did is I covered one side of it with some fabric samples. All right. Um, I used Yes Pace. It I did like one half and then let that dry before I did the back side of it. And I have found that that works best for me because if one side is dry and it's pretty stable in place, then when I go and pull and tug onto the other side of the journal this side is not all right and um i don't know that just works best for me so then what i did is i found some pieces and in really my scrap pile that i thought would be cute to um kind of frame out a book plate and so that's what i did is i um glued this piece to this piece and then I glued my um, journal little tag to the inside of the book plate. And then I glued all that down. And then before I did the inside um, covers, I stitched all of this. All right. So all the stitching on the inside would be hidden. And here's what I'm talking about. You do not see that. So then, sure enough, what I did is I did the same process. I did the inside cover, one side, and then once that dried, I did the other half of the cover on the inside. All righty. And then um, while this, before this got attached, though, I, again, tried to keep all the fabrics that I used in this one journal in this one journal. So it all would kind of tie together. So this cover is the material that's on the pockets. So I stitched the pockets inside too before I glued this down. So you wouldn't see any of that stitching. And then once the front cover or once the outside cover and the inside cover were all glued in place, then one last stitch around the whole thing. All right. So that's what I did times 20. And right now, I'm just going to give you a quick little flip through. I'm going to tell you now, I'm giving these away. So when I do that, I don't want to embellish them so heavily because these are your style. These are for you to do what you want to do. So I just added um, just different papers. And like if I had, a, you know, I had a bunch of paper ruffles and we all know, you know, I have blueprints that I have those in my Etsy shop along with leather book plates that's I just sell a few things in there um but i just pretty much you know there's like a little fabric cluster and there's some more of that um blue fabric and here's just a little notepad um again not a whole lot fancy i um used up some stickers and you know punched out some fabric and just pretty much made it so that Whoever gets this has plenty of room that they can do what they want to do. I did try to use somewhat unique um, papers, you know, but again, it was basically, you know, things that I had. Um, and I did it times 20. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm just going to do one flip through of one of the books and then I'll go back through and just show you the covers um, the covers that I did 
on all of them. And so that's it. So it's kind of a little place, you know, in the front or the back to tuck your pen, you know, your writing um, utensil, whatever. Um, so there's that one. I'm going to try to put these back in the box as we go along, too. And so here are these two. And then this is the inside. Whoops, can, I'm off camera. This is the inside cover. All righty. And then here's this one. I see some fuzzies. Um, that's the inside cover. <clears throat> and one thing that I did do, and I don't have the bottle in front of me, I did run over um, some of them with a fray check. And the Sorry Silk Ribbon, it really needed some fray check on it. After it kept getting, hand, you know, handled and stuff. So... I know I'm going fast, but they're pretty much all the same. But because I did use fabric samples, you know, I couldn't make all the journals. I couldn't make all the journals the same because you usually don't end up with um, two samples that are the same. So chugging along here. All right. But, you know, I really like how I layered the um, the book plates. I think that added a really nice touch to them. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. This one is probably my least favorite, I have to say. Um, it was quilted material. And you can see the quilting. But the fray check did help it. But, you know, for somebody to just have a journal that they're going to just kind of, you know, run around and... and um, just a place to, you know, stick little things on the fly. Um, I think these are great. And they're lightweight, I have to say. And they are flexible and bendable. So you could, you know, drop them in your purse, in your tote bag. And uh, have a little place to drop things. And because I did the, I'm all getting all tangled up here. Because I did do the sewn, um, just the three pamphlet stitch. You can take out your signature. And, you know, and, and replace your pages. So anyhow, so that is my 20 journals and part four of my little mini series all finished up. So I do hope that you enjoyed seeing this process and it gave you an idea what to do with these vinyl pieces. Um, I had been hoarding them for a while, knowing that I was going to come up with something. <laughs> and I'm sure there's still probably some other ideas. You know, I can probably do some tags with them or, you know, journaling cards or something. But the, the journals themselves were absolutely the best thing to do with them because I got to use pretty much the whole piece. And it gave these journals a little bit of oomph. So with that being said, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and give me that thumbs up. And if you like what I do, even ring that bell. I only put out a video once a week. It usually comes out Tuesday evenings. And I also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. You can find me on Pinterest. And I have that small Etsy shop. Don't have a whole lot in it. Um, you know, what I have I think is pretty cool. So if you would, check me out. And by all means, give me a thumbs up. And I will check you out. In the next video, be safe and behave. Bye.